My name is Arta Kwam, and I am an elementary reading teacher in Wichita, Kansas. In this lesson, I am going to show you how I would teach rhyming, recognizing rhyming words for early childhood students. After the students have learned about the parts of words, onset and rhyme, I would want to teach them to recognize when they hear rhyming words. In practicing this skill, I would review with students that rhyming words are words that end in the same sounds. That way, it is fresh in their minds. Then I would explain our objective for the day. Today, students, we are going to be listening for words that end with the same sounds. These are called rhyming words. What are they called? The students repeat, rhyming words. I would then ask them to use a gesture to show me if the words rhyme or not. Students today, I want you to use a thumbs up to show me when the words rhyme and a thumbs down to show me when they do not rhyme. And I want you to put your thumbs up or thumbs down on your heart like this. Then I would start saying some pairs of words that I have selected ahead of time. I will then ask the students to repeat the words and then show me a gesture to whether they rhyme or not. Let's try one. I would say, cat, hat. The students repeat, cat, hat. Then I ask, do they rhyme? Show me. And all of the students would give a thumbs up if they think the words rhyme. I would then look at the silent signals they have given me. I would make sure that they are showing their gestures on their heart. That way they are using their own minds and not copying from others. Yes, they rhyme. They end with the same sounds. Cat, hat. I would continue with the list of words. I would say, grill, hill. The students would repeat, grill, hill. Do they rhyme? Show me. Yes, they do. Thank you for showing me a thumbs up. Dog, stop. The students repeat, dog, stop. Do they rhyme? No, they do not rhyme. These words do not end with the same sounds. I would continue to practice this way until when I look out, almost every child is showing me the correct gesture the majority of the time. To add some excitement and fun, I would have them do different kinds of gestures. We might do stand up if they rhyme, sit down if they do not, or hands up if they rhyme, hands on the ground if they do not rhyme. So that is how I teach recognizing rhyming words to early childhood students.